So now let us take some more examples of the syntax directed translation. Let's say this is the grammar defined S produces X, X, W, S produces Y, W produces SZ. And the semantic rule associated with them are with the first production, print F1, second production, print F2, and third, third production, print F3. If the input is string given to us is X, 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 Y, Z, Z, let us first write the Draw, let us first draw the syntax tree for this. Pass tree for this. So x produces x x w according to the first rule. So we have already found this these two x x and x. We need to find this x x again. So for this we will again have to apply this particular s produces x x w. But we have only w. So S can be found again by the third production. So W produces S Z. Okay. And now again this expand this S with X X and W. So X X X X X X X X have been found. We need to find a Y here. Okay. For finding out the Y, we again need S. And S can be found by W produces S Z. So W produces S, Z, and then S produces Y. So now we have found X, 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 and a Y, a Z here, and a Z here. So the syntax tree is done. Okay. So now let us find out uh, the value which is being printed according to the semantic rules while the reductions. Okay. So we're going to parse this tree, and while parsing, every time the reduction will be done. No reduction, no reduction. Every time the reduction will be done, we'll be printing something. So no reduction, no reduction. Just go down. There is a reduction. Okay. So the first reduction is according to the production S produces Y. And what is being printed? Printing is 2. The semantic rule says that 2 has to be printed. And now no reduction. Now we have a reduction. We have a reduction of W produces SZ. So W produces SZ is the second reduction. <clears throat> and according to this reduction, the value 3 has to be printed. Okay. Now again going up. There is again a reduction because of this. X, S produces X, X, W. So there is a reduction because of the production S produces X, X, W. And the semantic rule says that one has to be printed for this. Having printed this, this is not a reduction. This we have the reduction. So W produces SZ. Okay, and the rule is W for W produces SZ. Print three, and then go again going up. And for this, again, there is a reduction with the production S produces XXW. It says that print 1. So value 1 will be printed. So what value is going to be printed when the syntax tree is passed? And while parsing, we are applying, in, in the parsing, while reductions, we are applying the syntax rules. And after the entire uh, string is passed, the value 23131 is printed. Fine. So what we have learned from here that uh, every time we are going to the internal node, internal node, this, this is the first time we have went to the internal node. This was the leaf node, leaf node, leaf node, leaf node. And from going from, going from bottom to top, and whenever the internal node is encountered, we are going to reduce. And whenever we are going to reduce, some semantic rules are applied. With every production, some semantic rules are there, and those production, those semantic rules are applied while the reductions. Okay. Now let's take another example. This example is E produces E multiplied with T. T T produces F minus T F, and F produces two, and F produces four. In the earlier lectures, whenever we have discussed about the grammars, we have also discussed about uh, the rules, and uh, what do the what do these uh, uh, syntax rules tell us if we have been given a uh, operator grammar 
So you can see that here multiplication sign is at the first level. At the second level, there is a minus sign. Okay, meaning that if you have this minus at the second level, minus has got higher precedence than this multiplication. Okay, another thing is if the grammar has is left recursive, for example, this one. If the grammar is left recursive, it means that multiplication sign is the left recursive, uh, left associative. And in this production, t produces f minus t, meaning that this is the right recursive grammar. Minus sign has the or the minus uh, minus sign is the right associative. Okay. Now, if uh, we have given we have been given this four minus two minus four multiplied with two, then if we draw the pass tree for this. This will be e produces e multiplied with t okay and then for this e produces t this t produces f minus t okay and then this t produces f minus t so two minus sign have been observed and now for this f produces according to the string 4 and then according to the string f produces 2 this t produces f and f produces this 4 and then this t produces f and f produces this 2 so let's see what it evaluates to according to the semantic rules so we are going from this place to top to down, left to right, and that f produces 4. So f is now assigned a value 4 according to this, this semantic rule. Okay, let's number these semantic rules. Let's say this is the first semantic rule, second semantic rule, third semantic rule, fourth semantic rule, fifth semantic rule, and six semantic rule. So according to the first uh, uh, thing which is being done here, the f produces 4 is the reduction, first reduction, and the value assigned to f is 4. Okay, then yeah, this, this, there is no reduction, but yes, there is a reduction, f produces 2. And the semantic rule which is applied is 5, and value assigned to this f is 2. Okay, and then again going off. This is again a reduction according to the production rule f produces 4. Semantic rule 6 is applied here, and semantic rule 6 says that f is assigned a value 4. And then going up, f dot value, sorry, t produces f is the reduction. And in this reduction, the value of f is assigned to t according to the semantic rule 4. So f is assigned, sorry, t is assigned a value what was there with the f. So 4 value is assigned to this t. And then again going up. While going up, it says that f per t produces f minus t. So the T produces f minus t. So this is the this 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 production is being used and semantic rule will be applied this one t dot value is equals to f dot value minus t dot value. So f minus t semantic rule 3 is applied. So value of f was 2 and value of t is 4. So a minus 2 is assigned to this t. Okay, now after this, we are again going up. There is again a reduction. T produces F minus T. Third semantic rule comes into the action. This T has a minus 2 value and this F has 4 value. And 4 minus minus 2 means 6 value is assigned to this T according to the semantic rule 3. 
and then again going up so this t is reduced to this f sorry e e produces t so e produces t is the rule and semantic rule 2 comes into action where the value of this t is assigned to this e so e is now assigned a value 6 okay and then no reductions now again there is a reduction f produces 2 so two values assigned to this f according to the semantic rule 5 going up the value of f is assigned to this t okay according to the production rule t produces f semantic rule 4 so two values assigned to this t and going up this is the last production which will take place e produces e multiplied by t is the production which is being used and the semantic rule 1 is used here so e dot value is equals to e dot value multiplied with t dot value so this e has a value 6 and this t has a value 2 so 6 and 2 are multiplied and the value 12 is assigned to this e okay so after this string is passed the value 12 is assigned to this w according to the semantic rules okay and how many times the reductions took place or how many times uh, uh, yes how many times the reductions took place so count the number of internal nodes one two okay fine starting from here one two three four and then five six seven eight 9, 10, and 11. Sorry, 9, 10. We have already counted this. So, this is the internal node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, 10 times the reductions took place. Thank you.